How's it going y'all? Roundy Riles coming at you with another video. We have some X-Men today, but I didn't get it for my X-Men shelf. I got it because the Secret Wars 40th anniversary wave is coming out and I already started getting some. We got Doctor Doom and Captain Marvel, which is uh, Monica Rambeau. And then they have, you know, the whole wave with Wolverine, Captain America, Symbiote, Spider-Man, Titania, and the Beyonder coming out. And then there's a couple other bits and pieces here that I was picking up. But the one that re released recently, and she's also one of my favorite X-Men characters on the female side, Rogue is at the top. So we have the Rogue and Destiny 2-pack. And Destiny is actually Rogue's mom because Mystique is her dad. So that's another reason to love Rogue and the X-Men is it's super queer, super like quote-unquote woke, as people who don't know anything about X-Men would say because... Uh, newsflash, X-Men has always been woke. That's kind of the point. Civil rights and all that stuff. That's what woke is. It's about um, bringing forth the atrocities and the unfairness in the world, which mainly back in the day and now still today is about civil rights. So I love the X-Men. I love Rogue. I love the queerness. I, I love that she has two moms slash a mom and a non-binary parent or whatever. So yeah, it's a really cool character, really cool two-pack, Secret Wars, X-Men, all the good stuff. We get all the boxes checked. So yeah, First appearance rogue, so with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the box and look at these bad girls open. Taking a look at the front of the box, you can see there's not really much here. Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Rogue, and Marvel's De Destiny, and then it says X-Men down there in the middle. On this side, we get some art of Destiny and Rogue, and on the back, we get some cover art and a blurb. It's not really cover art, but it's designed to look that way. But yeah, let's take a look at the blurb. A mutant with power she could not yet control, Rogue was unofficially adopted by Destiny and Mystique and join them in the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. I'm pretty sure it's been retconned at this point that they're like her actual parents. I could be wrong. It could have been one of those things that's gone back and forth. But yeah, there's a reason she has like draining and kind of like ability copying powers. Open window with names and art on this side. Top of the box, bottom of the box. And with all that being said, I ain't strong just because I touch Carol Danvers, sugar. Bam, 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 na, 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 na. Yeah, you gotta preserve the box with some theme music and all that stuff. And there they are with their no accessories while they have fists. But yeah. And here we have our Rogue and Destiny 2 pack out of the box. There's really not much to it. We get the figures and we get a uh, set of hands for each of them, so not much. But it is our first Destiny figure in the Hasbro Marvel Legends, and it is our first appearance rogue, which is what she was wearing in Secret Wars, although she looks a little feisty here, and that's because this is supposed to be her dark or uh, evil Brotherhood of Evil Mutants costume because she was bad when she first joined and then she joined the X-Men and they were kind of sus of her because you know she's a bad guy so obviously they're like oh we don't know about you but she joins the X-Men and most people only know her as an X-Men but yeah she started as a bad guy and then in Secret Wars she well before that she got Captain Marvel's powers and she was super OP and you know she has power absorption and all that stuff joined the X-Men was in Secret Wars and that's why I grabbed this two pack because Secret Wars Rogue like Destiny's cool it's Rogue's mom um but I didn't really need it for my display. She'll just go on my bad X-Men side. So yeah, cool to have both of them, especially Rogue. She's my favorite female X-Men. So I will grab as many of her as I can. Checking out their height. Let's see here. They're both on the same base body, which I think is a streak body. And then Rogue has a modified torso or it's just covered up with that overlay. I'm not quite sure. Under six inches, like five and a quarter. And she stands at about six inches because we're a big old dome. So yeah. Articulation, starting with Rogue, she has, oh, she wants to focus forward on her head, is actually kind of limited side to side, is kind of limited as well, which is weird. Shoulders come up 90 degrees, we get a bicep cut, double elbows, um, no torso movement whatsoever except at the waist because this overlay gets in the way. So she only goes forward that far and back that far. Legs come forward to the side, bicep cut, she can kick her own butt very easily, no boot cut but we do get rockers. So she is a little limited in the torso, um, but that's due to the design of the character, but she can still do her flight and power poses and all that stuff. So yeah, love me some Rogue, getting my Secret War shelf together. So yeah, that's her articulation. And then Destiny's really the same because it's on the same body with Shriek, but a little bit um, 
more limited because we've got this cape in the way so she can't do her full range of movement on her legs but yeah essentially it's the same except she has a little bit of torso movement forward and backward so that's the articulation for these two lovely ladies so the only real gripe with this set is the accessories because this is all we get some open hands from rogue and for some some closed hands for destiny and that is it no power effects no alternate heads or anything like that so that is the accessories first up for scale and comparison here we have rogue and destiny with a bunch of different rogues we have the outback rogue which probably has the best head sculpt in my opinion and unfortunately it's hard to fit on this one so it doesn't quite fit but they do fit on these others and i'll probably show that in photography and um both of these head sculpts are much better than the retro carded rogue but they're all around the same height they've all got you know the white streak in the hair and that's what matters and there's destiny over there so like I said, I like Rogue. She's my favorite female X-Men. Here they are next to Mystique, and there's that retro-carded Rogue with the Outback Rogue head, and that's how we're probably going to be my main Rogue on display, because this one is the one in the middle is going to be for my Secret Wars display, like I said. Here we have them next to Wolverine and Spider-Man, and then with Phoenix and the Thing. So with all that being said, y'all, I will say that the Rogue and Destiny 2-pack is totally worth it to me at this price, because I have a specific purpose for this Rogue, and uh, She's good for Secret Wars, and the suit also works for X-Men 97 if you do a head swap. So there's that. And Destiny is a very niche character, but I have an X-Men shelf, so she'll go right on there with the villains, bad guys, and all that stuff. So we got multi-purpose figures for me, and I like that. And if you like that, this video, smash like, hit subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you're picking up this two-pack. If you're waiting, which I probably should have done for it to get cheaper, because it will. They come with a set of hands a piece and that's it for accessories nothing else not even a swappable head it would be nice if they gave her like a less smirky head face or expression but you know we have head swaps we can do which you'll see in the photography so yeah do all that stuff check the patreon dollar a video for or dollar a month for early videos and also check out my two giveaways do all that stuff i love you i will see you next time and bye bye Mwah.